guys, good morning. So today I'm going to reply the questions as I promised. In conjunction with Malaysia Day, I've decided to do a short Q&A video. I'm going to try my best to reply as many as I can. Okay, so this is pretty tough because I enjoy holidays, whether it's, whether it's city holidays or beach holidays, I absolutely love it. But if I have to pick one place, I think it would be Fiji Islands. It's beautiful and you know, I've never been to that part of the world before. And from my future plans, for now, my main aim is winning Miss Universe 2016. And after, well, we'll see what God has in store for me. I think my favorite would be Shushmita Sen. So she was Miss Universe 1994 and you know, she was 19 when she won. She was the first Miss India as well. The way she carries herself, so much elegance, so much poise and she's definitely someone I look up to, you know, my role model. Okay, so I'm going to be honest here. When I was thinking of joining Miss Universe, I was extremely nervous. I was so doubtful, you know, because I had never done something like that. You know, I was fresh out of college. I was really excited to join, but at the same time, I had a lot of concerns. I told myself I, you know, I may be inexperienced, but I'm not going to let that hinder my success or my progress. So don't be afraid. Just have that leap of faith, you know, but make sure you work hard. Don't take it for granted, you know, hard work does pay off. This is a funny one. Is your sister single? You should ask her that one, I think. Well, I think I have two really big pet peeves. And the first would be I, I hate being late for any event. Whether it's five minutes late or three minutes late, I absolutely hate it. And I can't stand it if my sister or anyone else delays me. And the second, I can't see people biting their nails. I feel like when you, when you bite your nails, it's like, it, it looks painful and yeah, I, I, I can't explain it, but it's just something that really annoys me. Okay, so I absolutely loved biology. You know, it was something that was very easy to remember. I loved history as well. So I love all these factual based subjects, but the one subject that I hated, but now is my, I wouldn't say passion, but something that I really enjoy doing is ad -nets. I used to barely pass ad -nets, probably getting like 42, 43. So I turned things around, I did two papers a day, just so that I wouldn't fail for her SPM. And I, I ended up getting an A+. So, woohoo! My height, I am 174 centimeters. In a guy, I would obviously appreciate if he's kind and caring, and if he's smart as well, you know, I think he should be street smart, you know, he should be he should be wise, understanding of course. And most importantly, he has to be supportive of what I do, of my dreams and my ambitions, you know. I do like ramen and tapanyaki, but I'm not really a big fan of sashimi. I don't really enjoy raw food. So as for my skincare products, I use Dr. Ko's products. Most of them are organic as well. And as for my beauty regime, the moment I come back from an event, the first thing I do is remove my makeup. I feel that it's so important so that, you know, your face is always clean. You don't have clogged pores, no pimples. And after that, I moisturize. I make sure I moisturize a lot because I feel makeup products are extremely drying. And during the day, I apply a lot of sunscreen. The UV rays so bad these days that if you don't apply sunscreen, you just don't get tanner but at the same time, you can get like, you know, skin cancer and all of that and that really scares me. For me personally, I feel that beauty pageants, they act as a platform to empower and inspire younger people, younger, the younger generation. Whether there are male pageants or female pageants, I feel that the goal is one that is to inspire. I do intend on going back to studies after I'm done with Miss Universe, but at the same time, I would like to be in the industry still to keep contacts, you know. I, I really enjoy going for events and meeting people. I feel that that is such a good way to learn more from other people's experience and their backgrounds as well. To be frank, um, I feel that there are a lot of things that goes behind the scenes. You know, for training, we have public speaking, we have vocal training, we have interpersonal skills training, you know, and then there's photo shoots, there's catwalk training, and there's all these trainings that, you know, that can't be put on social media, so you don't actually see it. You know, there's also Q&A, you know, you have to be constantly updated with current affairs, world affairs, past history, there is a lot to Miss Universe because I feel that Miss Universe is not just about beauty or about brains, it's about everything, your personality, the way you carry yourself, the way you speak, that embodies a Miss Universe. So for the next segment of this episode, we're going to do rapid fire round. So, shall we get started? 
Banana leaf, hands down. This is hard. Uh, white. They're both great and I like them both, but uh, uh, gummy worms. As much as I love to be driven around, I feel if I'm the driver, I have more control of what happens in the car. So definitely driver. Beach. Oh my god. Um, Taofu Samba. Photo shoots. Definitely photo shoots. The amount of retakes for video shoots. I think sunrise because I feel when you know when you view a sunrise or when you experience a sunrise, it's like the start of the day. You know, you have the, you have such a long day ahead of you, and it's nice to be early sometimes. Dancing man, I can't sing to save my life. So no way. Uh uh. Nah uh. -uh. Okay, they're both great and they're both by Shonda Rhimes. She's such a magnificent producer and they're both like very different. But if I have to pick, I would say Scandal because to be honest, I absolutely love Chillers. And to just like know what's going to happen next, you know, what is the father plotting against her, I think that is, that is just so fun. Yeah. That's it for today guys. I hope all of you enjoyed the video and I really do hope that this video allowed all of you to get to know me a little bit better. I'm so sorry, you know, I couldn't reply to all the questions but hopefully in the near future I have another Q&A video and I could reply then. In the meantime, have a great day, you know, be productive and I'll see you next time.